Frequently, people ask about how can I upload multiple file attachments at the same time. I know I can add them one at a time. I know I can use the API, but how do I upload multiples? Well, there's an app in the App Exchange called Magic Buttons, and under one of the project records or any of the project records, you'll see a tab, Multiple Documents, where there's an example. Let's click on this Upload Multiples and actually choose the documents that we want to upload and have them all link back to this project we're on. So this is uploading six different files and now we'll be taken back and you'll um, see that we're actually embedded are those six files that uh, and we'll go over here and you can see them all right here. So uh, how did all that come about? Well. When you copy the application over uh, in uh, from Magic Buttons out of the App Exchange, uh, this button is going to refer to a page, and we'll dive into how we do all this and actually do it. But actually, it's calling on a um, DB page 40. So if you create this in your own application, you'll probably have a separate uh, code page for this, in which case you'll just move it in and, and update this. But this is important. This is the destination table. I'm going over to the um, documents table eventually, and I'll need to be able to link back to my original parent, but the, I need the reference field of that destination, and that's that ref field ID. And that's the rec, uh, record ID from the parent. Anyway, we'll, we'll visit that in here in a second. Uh, probably what would be helpful is, why don't we go do this right now? Now, this is a fresh copy of this I pulled out of the App Exchange, and it's filled with a whole bunch of different ways to do things. I'm just going to uh, click down onto one of the projects, and you can see the Multiple Documents tab right here. Okay, and I can verify. Now, if I'm in the same application, obviously, this is going to work just fine because that's going to go over and find the reference field. But if you take this URL and put it in your own application's parent, you need to know what your child reference field is and update that. Also, when you copy the code page, which I'm about to show you, you will have to update this code page um, number to reflect it so that it's launching in the right place. Okay. So let's go see what we need. Um, the first thing we need is to get our applications uh, application token. And if you um, click on the main uh, page, you can scroll down into app properties. And way down here, you can grab and, uh, um, uh, an app token. And now these are all a bunch of example ones, but we can use one in this example, or we can create a brand new token and then copy it. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna just copy this one, and uh, so we've got. And uh, let's go back out because I noticed that this was turned off, um, and, but frequently you'll find this is turned on. Okay, now we've got an app token in my clip. So I can come back here and say, let's find the application DB page. And uh, that's pages. Remember, we're looking for 40 in this application. But if you come in here, and you can sort one way, sort the other way. But you can see 40 is here, multi-file upload.html. So if I open this up, there are a couple things I need to do. And we've highlighted them like this. So you got to update your app token. Now, this is going to probably be the exact same app token because I'm in the same app, right? And paste this in here, which it is. OK. And now we'll go down to this page and say, OK, I need to update the field of the file attachment field in the destination. Now, I'm going to use this as an example over here because this is the exact same uh, document, only the one I started off with. Um, here's the file attachment field. Click and, and um, edit the properties of this. You'll see that this is field 7. Now, you can't see it off the screen right now, but down at the bottom um, here, as I click and hover over the field properties, you'll see FID 7 uh, way down here. Okay, so that's that's we know that's going to be 7. So we're, we're going to come back to this here and scoot down here and make sure that we've updated field seven, which we have. Now there's one other thing that we need to do, 
and it's this right here. We need to update the destination of the table. Now, when it's in the application exchange, this is the address that is going to be, be used. So we really want the destination in our application. Now, this is our copy of it right here, right? So uh, what I need to do is back out of this, since those other two are already there, I need to grab the URL for that. So I'll come over to Documents, and this is what I want right here. And I'm going to right click oh, and copy it. Well, I'm copying the URL bar. It's off the screen for you, but I'll show it to you in just a second as we, uh, as we go back in. So we're home. We're going to go into the pages area where that DB page is. Um, and where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Multi-file upload. Now we know we've already updated this. We've updated this one here. And now what we do is need to update this one. And you'll see what this looks like. I'm within the single quotation marks and I'm going to paste this in here. So this is my realm. This is uh, our company or uh, QuickBase. And let me fix that. Um, and this is the database of the destination table that we're going to be writing into. And, uh, and, and that's it. So if you um, actually want to put this in your own app, you could say control A and copy it, put it in your own application, and it will have its own um, page number, which, which you can use. But I, I think we've updated this now. So let's go give it a test and uh, see how that works. We'll go into any project record, and I'll, I'll just use this one. I'm going to take the tab and go down to multiple documents and I'll click on Update Multiple Documents. We'll choose the files, and once again, I'll just grab a whole bunch of these uh, and say Open. It's uh, counting these, and when it's all finished doing that, what it'll do is, is it'll revert back to the page we're on, which case we can view them, and you can see that they're all linked back to this. So. That's one way of doing that. That's a magic button. So you can find it in the App Exchange. We cover things like this in our webinars that we do uh, called Office Hours. It's an open Q&A session. You're welcome to come. It's every weekday, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. You can find that at quickbase.com webinars. Have a great day.